This is Jake Chapman with River City Sports. With me is Coach Price of Central Mountain. Coach, it's great to have you back on the show. Notre Dame week. You know, I personally think that this is the game of the week over Baylor and Macaulay. You got Notre Dame and Signal. I mean, your team six and zero going up against a four and one Notre Dame team, and you know, you guys pound the ball in, running the ball. But what's something you're going to have to do against Notre Dame to come out with a win? Well, you know, it's it's, it's been a battle the last few years, and our football team knows the challenge ahead. And for us, we gotta we gotta run the football and not turn the ball over, and uh, it's. It's one of those games we got to play four quarters against a very talented football team. And speaking of very talented, Kareem Moore for Notre Dame, you know, he's the talk of Notre Dame. And when you guys are on defense, what's one thing you're going to have to do to stop him? Well, you always got to check him. He's a fine athlete, but they also have several other players around him and that are having a great year. And, like, again, Coach Fant does a great job with their football team. And, you know what, we they're, a, they're very solid and we can't just prepare for one person, but Kareem Moore is an outstanding football player. But you have outstanding players yourself, Sky Wilson. Sky Wilson, he's only a sophomore, and he's been getting so many touches. What's Sky going to have to do this game? Do you think he's going to play like a senior? Well, you know, he's he, he's learning the game, and uh, he's a big back, and he's getting ready to get hit Friday night by Notre Dame, and you know, see if he can withstand that. And it's that's the mark of growing up. But he will, you know, he'll get tested Friday night. This is John Neal reporting for River City Sports. It's Notre Dame week up here at Signal Mountain High School. With me is sophomore running Skye Wilson, senior running back Caleb Menzel, and you know him, senior quarterback Jack Teeter. Guys, a little bit different feeling this week, you know, it being Notre Dame, a little bit more serious. You can tell Coach Price is really amped up for it. What are y'all looking for come Friday? A big win. <laughs> Simple answer from Skye. What, what about you, Jack? I'm looking uh, to come out and run the ball up. What? I'll hold it. <laughs> I'm looking to come out and run the ball on them, looking to pass the ball, looking for a big one too. What about you, Caleb? I think it's going to be physical, and I think we're going to come out with a win. And, Caleb, you know, it took you a couple games. This guy kind of was still in the thunder for a little bit, you know, but you're, you're getting things going also in that backfield, which gives, you know, this offense a whole new element when both of you guys get to get going. What do you all expect for, from an offensive standpoint with that defense being so athletically talented over there at Notre Dame? Makes me excited because we can pass too. So if they end up stopping our run, we'll pass it on them. If they stop our pass, we can run it on them. And Caleb, that's a great note, man. You know, I might might be looking to you in the future to coming on down and interview me. But um, Jack, you know, he talked about passing a little bit. Ten touchdowns, zero interceptions. We spoke in the spring. You know, you talked about y'all airing it out a little bit, which would utilize your skill set. How do how do you feel about this offense now incorporating J.R. Wilson, you know, hitting him and also hitting this guy a couple of times out of the backfield? Talk to me about the passing game. Well, our passing game last year wasn't too good. We didn't pass the ball a lot. We ran the ball much more. But this year we're passing the ball, we're running the ball, and looking forward to a good win. And, Sky, you know, only a sophomore, you really splashed on the scene this year. You got over 14 touchdowns, got over 178 yards receiving, 500-plus in the backfield running. It seems like if Alex Trotter wasn't doing everything he's doing over at Macaulay, we'd have a, we'd have a really big top running back here at Signal Mountain. Not saying you're not, but how, how do you feel about your sophomore year so far? I think I can improve over the years, and I can get better and better. Well, guys, you know, it's Notre Dame. What? Tell me and tell our viewers what's something that's unique about this rivalry that's different from any other team y'all play. It's the most physical game we play, and I don't, I don't know what it is about it, but that's the game that we get most pumped for. We love playing Notre Dame. And our fans, our, like our student section, it goes crazy. All over Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, our student section is going against our student section all day. What about you, Scott, you know, being new into the, into the system, into the rivalry? What, what do you got? What's, what's your feelings? I'm just glad to be a part of it. Just glad to be a part of it, you know. Sky Wilson, short and sweet to the point, you know. Man of a man of few words, but a big game. But guys, we'll be at Ringgold High School this Friday at 7:30 when Signal Mountain, who's six and zero, two and zero in the district, Notre Dame four and one, a three-point loss to Knox Catholic, who most likely these guys might see in the playoffs. Well, who are also two and zero in the district, likely the champion might be crowned out of this game of seven AA district. Y'all are going to be an 18 and 0 record on the line. I'm looking. I'm really looking forward. To it. I know these guys are looking forward. To it. Expect a lot of coverage coming this week on our site, along with all our social medias at RiverCSports.com. This is John Neal with River City Sports. I'm still here at Signal Mountain High School with offensive tackle Harrison Moon, Mississippi State commit Harrison. 
I, f- I feel like I'm always talking to you. We've we've created this great relationship, but it is Notre Dame week. It's a different kind of feeling up here. Being a senior, being a leader on this team, what does this team need to do to keep rolling this machine that's Signal Mountain this year? We just need to keep pounding the ball and being physical. Everyone knows that's our game, but you just got to try and stop it because it works every day. And Harrison, you know, in a couple months – You'll be leaving to Mississippi State, but you're not ready to leave your – you're ready to leave your stamp. You know, what is really unique playing – being a four-year starter up here, playing against Notre Dame, coming up the fourth year in a row, being in a, a district, you know, 7AA. What's unique about a Notre Dame, and what kind of concerns do they bring a Signal Mountain? I mean, everyone knows they've, they've got athletes all over the field. I mean, you have Louisville commit, Kareem Moore, and you just you, – you, he's highlighted their defense. They have a bunch of – athletes everywhere else I mean we all know they're a good physical athletic football team and you know it's always just a close game every year I mean last year they came out and they were winning 10-3 at halftime and we had to come back in the second half and really make up some work so I mean it's just the fans get so involved I mean like they were like they were saying on Twitter and Instagram I mean I, I know I'm getting tweets from Notre Dame fans and I know they're getting tweets from Signal fans I mean it's just it's a rivalry in all aspects I mean it's it, whoever wins it's a great game and Harrison just one more question for you what do you feel as an offensive standpoint, you know, you were talking about their athletes, but physicality on the line of scrimmage, do you do you feel that's what separated y'all so far this year is that line of scrimmage play, having almost a thousand plus yards in the backfield between Sky E and Caleb and Nathan Johnson, also a really good running back for y'all. What what really is what has really made Signal Mountain so good and so well coached or organized this year? I mean, it just starts off with the offensive line. You can't you can't run the ball without an offensive line. You can't pass the ball. And I think we have one of the best lines in the area, if not the state. I mean, you know, Cole Johnson's he's he's one of our, he's one of the best guards in the area, probably probably the state. He's he's crazy. He's only a sophomore. I mean, he's he's a highlight. You know, we have we have returning starter Jared Menzel, two new starters, Daryl Hodge and Colton uh, Colton Miller. I mean, they're just they're they're all very they're all very very good, very very physical, and they they get off the ball quick and fit the system well. I mean. It all to me just starts with the offensive line. Well, guys, you heard it. You know, it's going to be a physical football game this Friday. Expected Harrison Moon, number 77 here. He'll be all over the field blocking for those great running backs they have. Catches 730 kickoff at Ringgold High School. Welcome to our game of the week. We're here at Signal Mountain High School for River City Sports. I'm Jake Chapman. With me, as always, is John Neal. And we just witnessed a practice here for the Signal Mountain Eagles. And I talked to – we had an interview with Coach Price. And, John, watch the practice. It's Signal Notre Dame week. That's all they're talking about. They're ready. Price doesn't want to beat him 21 to 7. He wants to beat him 47 to nothing. What do you think Signal Mountain's going to have to do? You know, they've had such a great running game. And, you know, Jack Teeter, the most underrated quarterback in the area, hasn't turned the ball over. What is Signal Mountain going to have to do to come out on top? I think it all starts in the line of scrimmage. We were talking with Harrison Moon. He be, he's he been reiterating over and over again they have the best offensive line in the, in the area, and I believe that's what it will take for Signal Mountain. They need to – you know, establish a physical presence on both the offensive and defensive line and wear down a um, very athletic Notre Dame team. And that, that I think that's the key for Notre Dame. Can they match pound for pound physical, physical player to physical player against Signal Mountain to be able to slow Signal Mountain's run game down? And and also, it will, like you said, Jake, it will kind of come down to um, Jack Teeter. I think that he's going to make a couple of plays that might make or break the football game for Signal Mountain because of such a great secondary for Notre Dame. And it will be, can the defensive line for Notre Dame stop the run game? Because if the run game gets going, Jack Teeter could pick apart that secondary because of how good Jack Teeter is. Yeah, and when you start and when you start the run game and they have to cheat up, you that makes, you know, that creates lanes for wide receivers to run through. Completions are made, and Signal Mountain rolls on. Is if that's what is to happen, but it will be it will be very interesting come Friday night, uh, to say the least. And we also you know we talk about their run game. Talk about you know Coach Price pointed out to Jr. and the receiving core. This is going to be the best matchup that you guys are going to have all season. Kareem Moore, the two words that anyone just utters when people you talk about Notre Dame, just the dominance, the Louisville commit, and everything. What do you think? Is what so you th- what do you think they're going to have to do to open up the passing game against just such a prolific Notre Dame secondary? Well, I mean, like you said, I don't, I you say Kareem Moore, but they also have Jared Andrews, Ricky Ballard, Austin Banks. They also have AJ Flemingston, one of the best safeties in the area, getting multiple looks at the d- next level. Jake, I think to it again starts at the line of scrimmage for Signal Mountain. If they can establish the run game, they will be able to open up 
passing lanes for for the second um, for that secondary and have Kareem and some of those other players back off or cheat up because of the run game is being so successful. And we talk, you know, the secondary. What's Notre Dame's defense? What do you think they're really gonna have to worry about besides the running game? And you have Sky Wilson at Single Mountain, only a sophomore, and the man is already six one, two hundred plus. What do you think Sky Wilson? Let's go to that. What do you think Sky Wilson's going to have to do? You know, in such a big game, do you think he's going to have to play like a senior? Do you think he's going to have to play like he's been there before? I mean, Sky Wilson is one of our surprise players in the area. He's got over 14 touchdowns, over 700 yards of total offense, both receiving and rushing. It, I think it's all about the nerves and jitters for him. Can he can he take a hit from a Tyler Enos or a Keeley Green and get back up like he's like he's been all year? Does he let the nerves of the big game atmosphere get to him? He might make a costly fumble. He did have a fumble last week against Bradley Central that wasn't as costly as it could have been. But if he was able to play under control like he has the first six games of the season sky wilson will again have another big night i believe because it will once it will be very difficult to slow down that wing t offense but it is able it will be able to be done if any team can do it it's the notre dame defense because of how talented they are and good point this is a really i think this is the game of the week and we talked about sky and sky is the only other is the running back that is right behind alex trotter of mccauley when it comes to touchdowns this season. And we will be at Notre Dame practice on Wednesday. And then Friday, I'm telling you, I've never been more excited for a game of the week. It will be Notre Dame, Signal Mountain, which will be at Ringgold High School. Is it Ringgold High School? It will be at Ringgold High School at 730. And, Jake, you know, it's great that we're talking. We saw Trotter last week. We get to see Wilson today and Friday. But we also get to see Austin Banks oh. and and him gaining major success this season, too, at the running back um, spot for Notre Dame, but we'll be at Notre Dame Wednesday, and I, I just keep getting ex- more and more excited as Friday rolls rolls closer because it's one of the best weeks of high school football in the area or even in the state for that matter. And, you know, we're just ready for the Be Friday here at River City Sports. I'm Jake Chapman. This is John Neal. We'll see you all for tomorrow's River City Roundup. And then Wednesday, we'll go to Notre Dame, and then Friday, tune in for our game of the week.